Bayemo reincarnated into the world of all laws and awakened to the spatial system at the beginning. He originally wanted to play soy sauce and enjoy life. But I didn't expect that I was exceptionally talented in dimensional magic. Several years later, upon ascending to the constellation of the second primordial god, Bayemo, who had regained both light and darkness, looked at the thriving magical world and fell into contemplation. Faced with the historian's records, he gave his own summary. I had no intention of the dimensional throne. Keywords of the novel Full-time mage I had no intention of dimension throne without pop-ups, full-time mage. I had no intention of dimension throne. Download the complete text of the full text. Full-time mage I had no intention of dimension throne. Read the latest chapters. Chapter 1 Diligence Deadly You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 1 Diligence Deadly Yawn With a yawn, Bayemo glanced at the time, 2 o'clock in the morning. There is still half a month left for the national exam, and he plans to brush up on the questions again. As soon as he picked up his pen, his eyes suddenly turned black. Then his perspective changed and he saw a figure lying motionless on the table. Inexplicably, he knew he was dead. Then the perspective continued to move up and I saw my own room. Then comes a city with dim lights, a blue and white planet, endless darkness, and a brilliant starry sky. Next came a dazzling scene, after which he saw four planes, one bright and one dark, one prosperous and one barren. His perspective kept getting closer to the bustling plain, but what Bayamo didn't notice was. As his soul passed through the desolate plain, a twisted and ever dot changing divine light blended into his soul as he flew towards the bustling plain. Pay attention, this man's name is Xiaoshui. Standing on the playground of Zhulan Magic High School in the Qingyuan district of the Magic City, Bayamo was waiting for the awakening ceremony to begin, bored with watching a short video and turn a blind eye to the gaze of the homeroom teacher Su Ning, let alone the passionate speech of the principal under the national flag. Why are we classmates by Mo so worried? Because his surname is Bai, Bai from the Bai family of the Magic City happens to have a stake in this high school. Of course, this can only make the class teacher pay a little attention to his words and actions, and the reason why Su Ning will not stop his behavior. Firstly, this is just a small matter. She also felt that the principal's speech was too lengthy, let alone that he had been speaking this manuscript for three years. Secondly, because the Bai family is located in Qingyuan district. Everyone around who is well informed knows that Bai Amo, the second young master of the Bai family, always wants to be a lying flat rice worm who mixes food and drinks, and will not study or practice seriously. Let the beautiful ladies from each family who want to get married join him in Feixin. At first, each family did not believe it, but the various behaviors of Prince by Air over the past sixteen years were evident to them. This guy named Bayamo is really focused on not wanting to make progress, just lying flat. This huge fame really makes the homeroom teacher a bit lazy to take care of this student. Cat Quick News Reports A high school student from Chung Chow School of Witchcraft and Wizardry suddenly died in class, and the reason was unexpectedly. Looking at another report on my phone, there is a new news that an excellent beginner mage died suddenly due to spending too much time practicing at night, resulting in insufficient sleep. During the day, he used it to teach and practice controlling and releasing magic, which led to excessive diligence, energy consumption, and pressure from his parents. Bayemo shook his head as if he had seen himself from the previous life. As for what he didn't pay attention to rest and what he didn't hear because of stress. He didn't see the comment that this wizard is from a wealthy family, and normal people wouldn't do this if they had the conditions, he only saw the words, diligence to death, for a novice mage. Beginner level mages can also tire to death, which is quite strange. Although the physical fitness of novice mages is not much different from that of ordinary people. So, internal competition is not acceptable. He refused to take the exam. As for how did Bayamo, who refused to participate in the competition, get into Magic High School? 
For this, Bayamo himself is also very puzzled. He didn't put much effort into his nine-year compulsory education, so why did he get into high school? He pondered for a long time when giving his grades, and ultimately felt that it was because other students in the same district were not as intelligent. Moreover, although he thought that since his family background is good and his elder brother's talent is also good, there is no need for him to work hard, nor is there any need for him to be too overwhelmed. You should leave some free time and enjoy life well. But now that he has entered this extraordinary magical world, Bayamo feels that it is still necessary to awaken and become a wizard. He may not be strong, but he cannot be. More importantly, this world is too dangerous and not suitable for too much jumping. Therefore, compared to other classmates in various intensive classes, quality courses, and training camps, he appeared very ostentatious. However, he consistently ranked first in the entire district and eventually entered high school. Bayemo can only believe that his peers may not have fully developed their potential. As for the rumors that he lay flat, Bayemo can only say that the rumors stop at the wise. Besides, he talks nonsense with his family and meddles in their affairs. He doesn't work hard, but there's still a bit of room for improvement. Moreover, it's fun not to take advantage of the time before becoming a wizard, as there won't be as much time to play after becoming a wizard. Besides, how is he? He has some connections with those people. In the short video, the little sister danced three times, and coincidentally, the principal on stage also finished giving a speech. Classmates, line up and come up to the names to awaken the magic. The loud shout from homeroom teacher Su Ning immediately uplifted the previously drowsy crowd. Upon hearing the commotion, Bayamo also put off his phone. The pitch black screen reflected a handsome man with a high nose and handsome eyebrows. Put away your phone and look ahead. In front of the team, with short hair and silver rimmed glasses, Su Ning, the tall homeroom teacher, placed a black stone in front of him, the size of a basketball. Su Ning pronounced her first name. White ink. Upon hearing this, Bayemo walked out of the team, while his classmates looked at him curiously, astonished, or disdainfully, and Su Ning's expression was painful. Entered his eyes. Between three or two steps, Bayamo had already arrived at the Awakening Stone. Getting closer, I realized that the Awakening Stone was like a compass, not completely spherical. And within the black, there is also a colorful shimmer. The homeroom teacher saw him approaching and said. Let's start, put your hands on it and calm down. She didn't have any special expectations for Bai Mo either. The Mo Du Bai family, unlike the Mo Du Dongfang family or the Mu family in the imperial capital, inherited a legal system. Upon hearing this, Bai Mo nodded lightly and extended his slender and fair right hand, pressing it onto the awakening stone. The cold touch quickly calmed his somewhat nervous and excited mood. Closing his eyes, with the help of the ripples emanating from the awakening stone, his mind was focused on his spiritual world for the first time. It's pitch black here, something needs to illuminate it. Just as the thought flashed through his heart, in the middle of the darkness, Bayemo saw a silver light. Silvery, it's a spatial system. And outside, Bayemo's classmates also saw the brilliant and mysterious silver glow emanating from the awakening stone in front of him illuminate his entire being, and recognize its identity as soon as possible, space system. Although these children who grew up in the magic city have gained more knowledge, seeing the endless space system is enough to amaze them. The movement of class 11 in high school also caught the attention of other nearby students. So there was another round of shouting and shouting, and Chinese people never lacked the interest in watching the excitement. The homeroom teacher Su Ning looked at the students in front of her, with a surprised expression on her face that had not yet recovered. But the silver light that flashed through by Mo's eyes quickly pulled her attention back. So, out of a simple understanding of Bai Mo, the teacher's responsibility led her to remind her. Bai Mo, you have awakened to the space department and have a great talent. I hope you will work hard to cultivate in the future and not let yourself down. Got it, 
Teacher Su, please continue. A smile appeared on Bai Mo's face, he greeted him, and then returned to the team. His classmates around him were either openly or secretly scrutinizing him, trying to get close to him. But due to the rumors about him that I just heard, I dare not step forward. Due to Bai Mo's extravagant ideas, he was not favored by the hard dot working faction among the children of the Mo Du family. But he doesn't smoke, drink, scald his head, jump, race, or play with girls, and the playboys don't accept him either. Therefore, the rumor that Bai Mo is difficult to get along with has been circulating among student groups for an unknown time. Just like now, is he Bai Mo? Yeah, it's rumored that he's very difficult to talk to. Although he's talented, let's not get too close to him, Huan Huan. Oh. For these discussions, Bai Mo did not take them to heart. What's bothering him now is that he has awakened to the spatial system. Shouldn't the old man at home force him to work hard to cultivate? The two parents at home, although they don't talk much in their daily lives, speak as much as a monk reciting scriptures. This cultivation is something that needs to be practiced, but actively practicing and being urged and instructed by others are two different things. It feels different. Moreover, Bayamo thinks it's better to follow the routine. His brother is only 23 years old at a young age and is already a high dot level mage. His future is promising, and he can completely shoulder the family's responsibilities. He should just be an ordinary little trash. But the old man has to deal with a lot of affairs every day, and his mother is also busy helping people play mahjong. I shouldn't have noticed such a small thing as his awakening today, right? Bai Mo, who had a headache, temporarily shifted his attention to the awakening students on the playground. He doesn't care about who awakens such a powerful legal system, he just wants to see if there are any beautiful girls. Let yourself see, nourish your eyes, and relax your body and mind. What Bai Mo didn't expect was that this search really made him find it. Next to their class, there is a graceful and graceful girl slowly walking towards the awakening stone of their class. Her temperament is like a serene orchid in an empty valley, elegant and peaceful. When walking, she is graceful and composed, exuding a sense of ethereal charm. A waterfall-like black hair was tied up by a green headband, swayed by the gentle breeze as it walked. End of this chapter Chapter 2 I am a goddamn genius you are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 2 I am a goddamn genius Although he only saw a figure and half a profile, Bayamo felt that this girl should be very good. Looking. But he immediately lost his curiosity. Because with the girl's successful awakening, an invisible wave spread around her as the center. Her homeroom teacher and her classmates, who were first affected, fainted silently. This is the main reason why Bai Mo noticed the fluctuation. Then Bai Mo's pupils contracted. The fluctuations have spread to their class. Looking at the teachers and classmates who had not yet reacted and fainted one after another. Feel the invisible energy sweeping through your body. Bai Mo felt that all kinds of emotions and thoughts in his heart were like overflowing riverbanks, rushing into his mind as if he was about to break through his spiritual world. Humph dot. Bai Mo let out a groan, his body swayed uncontrollably, and his eyes turned black in waves, but fortunately he didn't faint. After a moment of relaxation, he suddenly realized that the playground, which had become screaming and noisy due to the situation here, had suddenly quieted down, and needles could be heard falling. He looked up in the direction of the girl and saw an old man wearing glasses and clothes similar to a mountain suit from a previous life appearing next to her. And the waves that were still spreading have also dissipated. By Mo's probing gaze met a pair of calm eyes, deep and beautiful, as if in the starry sky. It's the girls, he instinctively averted his gaze. Then, with a pair of eyes that looked old, they were equally calm, but at the same time, they seemed to contain the wisdom of the world. For a moment, Bai Mo was puzzled. What are they looking at me for? After some thought, he supported his still slightly dizzy head and lay on the ground. Pretend to be knocked unconscious by that fluctuation. 
Now it was the turn of those two people to be taken aback, and then the old man chuckled and said, Interesting. I didn't manage it either, but I didn't know what to say to the school leaders who came forward. Then he reached out and pressed his hand on the girl's shoulder. At the same time, silver starlights lit up one after another, and in just an instant, these brilliant and mysterious silver lights outlined a magnificent star seat, enveloping the two of them. Then a silver light flashed and the two disappeared. There are only a few school leaders in the same place who are discussing, and the school doctors who are rescuing the fainting teachers and students. Instantly move. Lying on the ground, Baimo secretly glanced at the situation over there and exclaimed in his heart, just like his distant classmates. Seeing several school doctors approaching him, Baimo stood up and didn't want to lie in the dirt houses that were temporarily built by the soil teachers. It's definitely not because the triangular house is too eerie. Two school doctors walking towards him paused in their footsteps, and one of the female school doctors approached and asked. Classmate, do you feel any discomfort? No. Let me check. However, the female doctor still didn't believe his words and lit up a healing light in her hand, scanning him once. Feeling a touch on her abdominal muscles, Baimo looked at the female doctor expressionlessly. Is that how you checked? The female doctor didn't go to see him and put away the healing light in her hand. However, feeling the warmth of the whole body and unable to express comfort, Baimo didn't say anything, just consider it as a reward. Anyway, because of her good looks, she has been touched by women from childhood to adulthood, such as sisters and aunts. The awakening ceremony continued, as the victim affected by the awakening wave of that girl and the only one awake. He was called to the office by the school leader. Teacher Bai, why are you looking for me? The incident just now needs to be kept confidential. Oh, Baimo responded, reached out his hand, and spread out his palm. What about the ceiling fee? Hey, you little bunny, you're so impolite. Baimo's face remained unchanged as he continued to extend his hand and said lightly, Uncle, I'm a little rabbit. What are you? Be careful, I'll tell Grandpa what you're saying. I. Bai Chongkong paused for a moment and took out an irregular gray small stone from the box on the table, throwing it to Bai Mo, I'm too lazy to talk about you. Bai Mo caught the small stone and glanced at it. There was a drop, not as big as his thumb. So he asked. What is this? Space magic crystal, used to assist space mages' cultivation. Dean Xiao gave you compensation by name, do you understand? Don't worry, I will keep it absolutely confidential. Baimo nodded and understood the identity of the old man. With this thought, the identity of that girl was also about to be revealed, and just awakening could cause such a big stir. It should be her. I'll leave without anything else. Well, go back and practice well, don't waste your talent. I can't understand what you're saying. Bai Chang Kong suddenly felt an itch in his hand, helpless about his nephew's temperament. He refused to listen and was instead swayed by his crooked reasoning, so he impatiently waved his hand. Go on, go on. Bai Emo grinned and threw the stone in his hand, walking out. The classroom is empty, but I heard that those unconscious teachers and students will wake up within half an hour at most. He estimated that someone should have arrived at least an hour later. During this period of idle time, Baimo planned to try to control Xingzi first. Shunran said that controlling would take a few days of meditation, but trying it didn't have much effect. After watching Dean Zhao's teleportation release, he said that it is impossible not to yearn or want. Close your eyes, there is only a hint of silver dust and radiance in your spiritual world. In this mysterious silver, seven shining stars are constantly twinkling. Every time it flashes, it will change its position. The cultivation of a mage involves three steps, in meditation practice, magic also requires magical power, and the amount of magical power is related to the duration and level of magic. To control the stars, only by mastering the stars in the dust can one arrange their orbits and unleash corresponding magic. Practice magic, even if it's not enough, 
you still need to know how to use it. Just like writing, some people write quickly and beautifully. Some people write slowly and awkwardly. Seriously affecting the grading of the roll surface. And the control that Biemo needs to carry out now. After observing for a while, Biemo took advantage of the gap before a star flickered, and his mental thoughts reached out, accurately capturing it. After reading the star control guide, he was about to concentrate and deal with the next crazy struggle of the star, but he only felt that the star, which was bound by his thoughts, only trembled a few times. Then he gave up his struggle, took the initiative to establish contact with him, and freed himself from bondage, happily flashing back and forth in the starry dust. What? Biemo feels like his mind is full of question marks now, is this successful? It's not as difficult as described in the book. Can you say so, in order to avoid making mistakes in his own judgment, he once again caught a star. As a result, this star may have been showcased by the tamed star from the previous one. Just as I was bound by his spiritual thoughts, I immediately established a connection with him and didn't even engage in symbolic struggles. No more than three, no more than three. Recite two sentences silently in your heart. Bayemo once again manipulated his mind to capture a star, but the result was still the same. He, who didn't believe in evil, caught one after another and finally looked at a pen that he had held in mid-air with his mind. Bayemo fell silent. After all, he is a member of a big family. He may not have all kinds of common sense, but he cannot do without magical knowledge. Whether it's written in a book or witnessing my elder brother practicing magic with my own eyes. Let Bayemo know that the process of controlling the stars is not easy. Glancing at the clock hanging at the top of the blackboard. 40 minutes, he only used 40 minutes. In this way, he completed the seven stars that others may need at least half a year to master, and released magic. The cruel fact shocked Bayemo. Am I a damn genius? But he was also aware that he was by no means the victim. That makes his talent even more terrifying. Then he thought of a question. Do I still have to refuse internal competition? Just in an instant, Bayemo made the decision to. If you say it out, the spilled water. This has nothing to do with wanting to see their helpless expressions, and it's definitely not for fun. As for the matter of talent, let them slowly discover it, by M.O. was too lazy to say. As long as there is an old brother named by Hanching on the top pillar of the house, by M.O. thinks of Chu Lang. Because one of the top beams and columns is good, the other one can be completely omitted. Because the life of the top pillar is too dull and boring, by M.O. doesn't like it. He thought of his older brother's life. All day except for sleeping, I spend it on cultivation. After meditation, I release magic to fight. There's not much time left, it's too scary. I don't even have time to talk about friends. Like a dog author, I'm almost 20.4 years old, but I'm still a stranger. On the contrary, Bayemo thinks that what is written in the practice guide is very good. It is advisable for a mage to practice for 6.8 hours a day, but of course, at most, they can only meditate for so long. Unless there are magical items such as stardust magic tools. As for the four words of an ordinary mage before this sentence, he automatically ignored them. Because there are four more words behind it. Genius is the same. End of this chapter. Chapter 3. Reward yourself every day. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 3 Reward Yourself Every Day As the first student pushed open the classroom door and walked in, the next group of students came in one after another. Soon, all 40 people in class 11 of high school were in the classroom. Everyone tacitly did not talk about fainting, but constantly exchanged their awakened magic systems, imagining their own future magic. Of course, not everyone is talking about magic either. Some boys are talking about who in other classes is beautiful, and some girls are looking at handsome guys with a playful expression. Judging from the direction she is looking, it should be herself. 
the girl found herself caught openly peeking and playfully blinked her eyes. Baemo was speechless, stopped observing the world, and turned his gaze to Su Ning, the homeroom teacher who had quietly entered the classroom. The explanation of the legal system mentions that a person's behavior and behavior are unnaturally influenced by their magic system. Ms. Su's presence is not very strong, and she enters and exits silently. She only attracts attention when she wants others to notice her, so she should be a shadow mage. He guessed. Cough, students, please be quiet. Suning's voice suppressed the noise in the classroom, and everyone's gaze fell on her. She took out a quaint style pendant from her pocket and said. Due to an accident during the awakening ceremony, the school has decided to compensate our class with the three dot year right to use the Stardust Magic Tool. Upon hearing the Stardust Magic Tool, another commotion erupted in the quiet classroom. Suning did not stop, but waited for them to quiet down before saying. For three years, I plan to distribute it evenly, absolutely fair. I will make a table and send it to the class group. Please pay attention to the information. In addition, at the end of next year's term, the school will hold an annual assessment and then reschedule classes. At that time, the top class will also have Stardust Magic Tools provided, so everyone can seize the opportunity. After finishing these words, Suning began to arrange the class's personnel and elaborate on his future learning plan. Baemo listened in unison, the Stardust Magic Tool was used to increase the mage's daily meditation time. But, 24 hours a day, most people are unable to use their meditation time within their capacity. This stardust magic weapon is clearly intended for use by the curling king gate. The first day of high school was a bit exciting, but not worth reminiscing about. Returning home, Bayamo saw the Bai family owner sitting on the sofa in the living room, reading a newspaper. He was somewhat surprised and wondered why this guy came back so early today. He feels a bit uneasy. Mosey has returned. The elder brother's greeting came from the second floor, and by M.O. looked up and saw a white cold star that looked seven times like him with some black circles under his eyes. He responded. I'm back, why aren't you at school? Your brother has graduated and will be working on the Qingyang sidelines next week. Dad by Yuanji's faint voice answered his doubts. Oh, Baemo shrugged and put on his slippers. Why did the head of the Bai family come back so early today? Isn't he worried about my son's awakening? Bai Yuanji folded the newspaper in his hand and glanced at him, still speaking in a plain tone. Today is your mother's birthday. She personally cooked and insisted that I come back to eat, please. Upon hearing this, Bai Mo's face turned pale. His mother Zhuang Xingyan liked to cook, but not to the point of liking it, so the taste of the dishes she cooked was not very good. She usually likes to do things during various holidays, so the three men in the family have no one to raise any objections. But on second thought, perhaps they were all attracted by the taste of the food, so they wouldn't pay too much attention to his magical talent. However, soon, Bai Yuanji's words interrupted his imagination. I heard from Chang Kong that you have awakened to the space system and your talent is quite good. Bai Mo didn't expect that the young man had already sold him. He thought that the Bai family leader would ask him what kind of awakening he had. But sooner or later, it's nothing to say. He nodded lightly and said, yes. Since you have good talent, then practice well and don't think about playing every day. Practicing day and night like my brother. Master Bai, spatial cultivation is not that easy. Perhaps accustomed to Bai Mo's lazy nature, Bai Yuanji didn't say anything more. He glanced at his indifferent expression and sighed helplessly. Seeing him sigh, a playful color flashed in Bai Mo's eyes. The expression of the Bai family leader was still very vivid, and he remained expressionless all day long. And for the Bai family leader, he is thinking about things. The space system is great, but the resources in the space system are not easy to manage, especially those like Nyenshir that are beneficial for enhancing spiritual realm. This is not a weakness of the spatial system, it is their weakness. Moreover, 
The Bai family still has a super level, but no one is good at space magic. If it were other elemental magic, he would have many ways to make this child practice honestly and then provide resources, but families like them cannot play spatial magic because they lack a lot of accumulation and channels. As the head of the Bai family, he cannot be too biased. The cultivation resources of the family need to be contested. Bai Mo doesn't seem to want to compete, so he can't immediately provide him with suitable cultivation resources. Everything should be done according to the rules. First look at the performance, then give rewards. The cultivation of the spatial system can only rely on Bayamo himself. However, for beginners, some small things can still be obtained by the family and do not need to be reported. Bai Yuanji's gaze flickered as he thought about these things. What are we talking about? It's time to eat. Zhuang Xingyan walked out of the kitchen at some point and stood behind them with a smile. Okay, I'll go serve the dishes, Bayamo immediately took the initiative. At the dining table, Bayamo was still reminded by his family to practice well. He was helpless, and he was also very interested in magic and space. After Grandma Zhuang Xingyan said, if Xiaomua doesn't practice, come and help Mom taste her new dishes. Bayamo immediately trembled and agreed. How to say it, they are all wizards now. I will definitely practice, otherwise why would I awaken magic and take the magic high school entrance exam? After finishing speaking, as soon as everyone's faces were filled with joy, he said again, let me tell you, I am a genius. I can easily defeat a group of young people by just practicing. Oh, Mosey, don't brag in front of us anymore. By Hanching chuckled lightly, gaining a new understanding of the stupidity of this foolish younger brother. And thereby family leader, Bai Yuanji, calmly wiped the oil stains on his mouth with a tissue and remained silent. On the contrary, Zhuang Xingyan looked at her youngest son seriously and said. Xiaomo is right, mom believes you. Bai Mo was speechless, feeling like his mother was coaxing the child. He decided to temporarily isolate them, drew a tissue, wiped his mouth, stood up, and said. I finished eating and went back to my room to practice. Three people glanced at him, two helpless, and one disgusted. When the sound of the door closing rang, Zhuang Xingyan glanced at her husband by Yuanji and whispered, Yuanji, why don't we have another one? The corner of Bai Hanqing's mouth twitched beside him, and he calmly glanced at his father's pale face before returning to his room. In a room of the same size, Bai Mo emerged from his simulated mage simulation game cabin and found that after becoming a mage, he could no longer immerse himself in the game. Because mages are able to observe the spiritual world internally, which cannot be simulated in games. So he didn't plan to play anymore. Sitting cross-legged on the bed, closing your eyes, calming your mind and sinking into the space of the spiritual world, you begin to practice. In the darkness, the silver stardust swirled and expanded little by little, while Bai Mo, who was watching from the side, felt a bit addicted to the feeling of gradually increasing cultivation. There is a strange sense of cultivation. It doesn't seem as boring as the teachers say. This is not much more fun than some simulation method training, and playing games also require spending money. Practicing is just. Well, practicing is also necessary. Meditate every day. What are the difficulties here? Isn't this a reward for oneself? He wants to reward himself fiercely every day. When I opened my eyes again, it was already one o'clock in the morning. After calculating the time, he meditated for exactly seven hours, but he did not feel mentally exhausted, which means he can continue to meditate. Something's wrong, so his meditation time is longer than the average person. But continuing to contemplate exhaustion, I estimate that I won't have to get up tomorrow morning. The important thing is that there will be classes tomorrow morning, and if you are late. It seems like it's okay too. With his eyes slightly narrowed, Bayamo covered himself with the blanket and decided to go to bed. Leave some energy to learn theoretical knowledge, becoming a legal blind is not enough. Not only will it be ridiculed, but it's also the kind of person who can't keep their mouth shut. 
the feeling of staying up late is quite uncomfortable. End of this chapter. Chapter 4 In Public You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 4 In Public Hmm ha ha I yawned and couldn't help but meditate for a whole night. Bayamo was a bit tired, and he couldn't hear what the international language teacher was saying clearly. Looking at the book in front of me, it becomes more and more like a pillow. He secretly decided that he couldn't do this in the future, and under the solemn face of the international language teacher standing next to him, he rested his pillow. The academic life on campus is quite ordinary, and Bayamo has not encountered any strange things, nor does he intend to participate in any exciting actions. For example, demons and city demon hunting teams. Of course, none of the demons are in Bo City, and the city monster hunting team requires proof from a senior hunter, and he cannot participate now. I attend classes and practice every day with peace of mind, go to the beach to bask in the sun, watch cartoons and concerts, engage in intellectual battles with my family members, and resolutely protect my legitimate rights and interests in eating, drinking, and playing. At the same time, I stimulate them with my own cultivation progress. Bored, let's talk about the progress of cultivation with classmates again, and always keep controlling the progress of the star child ahead of the second one. Then, let's marvel at the leisurely holiday life. Use the remaining half of the time to exercise mental strength. The only difference between magic high school and regular high school is that in addition to studying political history, geography, international language, and mathematics, mage apprentices also need to learn more about demons. As for Chinese language, just a slight understanding is enough. For a country, Every mage is a valuable force to fight against demons, and they should not lead some literary and artistic work. And for these courses, Bayemo didn't think they were unimportant, he just went to study with the idea of 60% longevity. The magic city plain is not lacking in wind, nor is it lacking in rain. But for those who live here and have become accustomed to its climate, these are nothing. The time of these storms is always brief, but sometimes, by M.O., who is blocked by the wind and rain on his way home, envies Master Shue. Strolling in the rain, without holding an umbrella, how graceful. Similarly, in the already cold winter, he will envy the ice mages and fire mages who are not afraid of the cold. On this hot summer day, by M.O. stood on the playground waiting for the annual assessment to begin, watching several classmates in the class who were completely refreshed and without a single drop of sweat. This emotion has arisen again. In the past nearly a year, Bayemo felt that his life had not changed much except for a change in identity and the behavior of practicing every day. Still leisurely and calm. Even if the next one, it is him who will come forward to showcase the results of one year of magic cultivation. At this moment, one of their classmates is testing his cultivation on stage. Perhaps because he was a slacker, Bayemo couldn't remember his name. As soon as he placed his hands on the star-sensing stone, it immediately lit up with a strong light. With the strength of this radiance, three high school sophomore class teachers who were temporarily invited as judges gave their own evaluations A, A, B, due to a secret that no one knew at the freshman awakening ceremony last year, all the students in class 11 of high school made remarkable progress in their cultivation. The overall evaluation is not lower than B, and among all the high school classes, only the first and second classes can be on par with them. Next, Release magic. This student who runs the dragon set is a relatively rare fire mage, who has already mastered the basic fire magic fire. Upon hearing this, he takes a deep breath. Faced with the one dot time examiner, the puppet teacher began to outline his own fire star orbit. It was evident that he was a bit nervous about doing such a thing in public for the first time. However, sufficient control practice did not allow this nervousness to hinder his already slow magical delineation. After about two minutes, a brilliant red star orbit finally passed by his side. Fire. Burning. With his call, a crimson flame condensed in his palm, and the flame was thrown out by him, hitting the puppet teacher. The puppet was quickly ignited, 
and after a few breaths, it turned into a pile of black charcoal. B, B, B. The three examiners remained expressionless and their eyes remained calm, giving their own evaluations and then calling on the next candidate to take the stage. White ink. Bayamo heard the sound and finished thinking. Over the past period of time, he has discovered a way to lie down and find peace. That is to perform very well in school, then let the family know, so as to block their preaching mouth, and continue to show a true state of enjoying life with peace of mind, eating, drinking, and playing happily. Attract the next wave of preaching and use facts to block their mouths. That's helpless, how could it be like this? The expression of disbelief is quite exciting. Therefore, he was just thinking about how to impress the judges and teachers in this assessment. You should know that this is the capital of demons, big and small. There are as many true and false geniuses as dogs, but there are also many. It's much harder to shock them than setting fire to a puppet in Bo City. However, Bayamo is very confident that he will show off a little bit. Over the past year, he has not been practicing for free. Hello teachers, I am Bayamo. Standing in front of Shingon Stone, he greeted the three judges. Let's start. The judge teacher conducted the assessment as usual. Nodding his head, Bayamo pressed his hands on the star feeling stone, injecting magical energy into it. The starry stone immediately emitted a dazzling white light, like a big electric bulb. The Shingon stone is very bright, and the eyes of the examiners and teachers are also very bright, and they have given evaluations. S plus, S plus, S plus, next, release magic. Nodding again, Bayamo stood 10 meters in front of a brand new puppet with a calm expression. There are no signs, and no movement can be captured. As he raised and extended his palm, a brilliant silver light shone in his eyes, while an equally mysterious and brilliant silver star orbit swept through the space. The speed of this magical depiction was so fast that even the examiner teacher was taken aback for a moment, unsure if it had taken one or two seconds just now. Anyway, soon. Mind control. The clear rebuke of Bayamo in the field once again focused their attention on him. I saw Bayamo's outstretched palm gripping the puppet ten meters away. Virtual Claw. The air rippled invisibly, and the puppet seemed to be squeezed by some force. With just one breath, it shattered into pieces. Then the fragments continued to break and eventually turned into a pile of sawdust. The three examiners and teachers exchanged a glance, all seeing the surprise in each other's eyes. They didn't expect this student not only to have excellent cultivation, but also to be so proficient in releasing and controlling magic. We can all catch up with some elite hunters in the city. You should know that this is a spatial system, and in the early stages, the difficulty of cultivation is not comparable to ordinary elemental systems. S+, 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 they gave their own evaluation and carefully glanced at the student, decided to go back and inquire. At the same time, he secretly thought to himself. I have a topic to brag about with friends when I go back the same idea flashed through the minds of the students and teachers who were paying attention to the exam situation here. However, most students speak up to friends who haven't noticed on the spot. Chan Chan, look at that handsome guy from class 1, he got a double S and it's a rare space series. He's really cool. Chan Chan took a wordless look at her philanderer sisters, wiped the tears from her mouth, and continued to look at Qingqing's handsome Shuang S in a daze. Turning his head and looking around, Bayamo was very satisfied with his performance. He just doesn't quite understand why his plans that overwhelm all the students in the school always go smoothly. Is there not a genius among so many students who wants to step on him and become famous in one fell swoop? Is there no outstanding person who can suppress his popularity? There was no challenge at all, and he wanted to go beyond it. Then he said, the person I surpassed can only look at my back. I'll give you time to catch up and disappear. How interesting. Unfortunately not. Always easily getting first place, Bayamo believes this is the worst student he has ever encountered. 
Bayamo has successfully forgotten the fact that he is a genius, pretending to be just an ordinary person. And it's normal for him to occasionally work hard, isn't it? Isn't the image of this king created? At that time, some people will definitely think that they have misread the situation when they have free time to play around. That guy has been working hard all along, you see, he's always the first in the grade. This is evidence. That would solve some disharmonious words, such as, he's too lazy, giving him so many resources is a waste, I protest, and it would be blocked. The important thing is that if they expose their true state in the end, their expressions will definitely look good. End of this chapter. Chapter 5. M.O. Gao Yi Zhang. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 5. M.O. Gao Yi Zhang by Mo's outstanding performance at Jilan Magic High School was reported to by UNG by someone with a heart. Although this son is unreliable, he is still biological. Even if by UNG, as a father, doesn't care about some trends, others will still care and then inform by UNG, the head of the Bai family, through various means. Our Bai family leader is also somewhat surprised. After a year of occasional observation, he has basically determined. My second son has a great talent, but he doesn't seem very clear about it, maybe. And for Bai Mo's constant clamor for eating and waiting to die to become a rice worm, lying flat and enjoying being an ancestor. Although he couldn't help but get angry every time he listened and wanted to give his son a beating. But looking at his performance after awakening the magic, he doesn't seem to be the scumbag he said. According to the running time of the Ningxin formation engraved in his room, this kid did not cheat or slip in his daily meditation homework. The Space Series weightlifters purchased at home range from 1 kilogram to 1 kilogram, then to 100 kilograms, and then to 500 kilograms. He doesn't know how much he's still here. Because the maximum specification of the space weightlifter is one ton, the one ton one at home seems to have been in used for a long time. Such diligent exercise of mental strength, can this record still be falsified? According to that kid's usual statement, his behavior should be following the rules. By UNG nodded, satisfied with his ability to summarize. As long as this child shows good talent and is willing to cultivate, then he has enough reasons to use family resources to provide him with cultivation. Don't want to take the exam. Scrolls are not just one way. Step by step. Can we schedule shifts flexibly? Baishan, take this document and bring a stardust magic tool to MOR to improve cultivation speed. Bai Yuanji looked at the newly signed resource scheduling document in front of him and instructed the secretary waiting by the door. Yes, master. Sitting in his new seat with his chin on, letting the wind from the playground blow into the classroom and scatter his bangs, by M.O. threw the two pendants in his hand. One is a stardust magic tool, and the other is also. The school acted quickly, completed the annual assessment, divided the classes, and then distributed the star dust magic tools that were originally scheduled to be assigned to the three top classes. As the first place winner, he was certainly the first to enjoy it. However, Bai Mo did not expect that at noon, the secretary of the Bai family leader brought him a star dust magic tool. It's because of his outstanding performance and family allocation. It is also emphasized that the main function of this stardust magic tool is to improve cultivation speed. Did Master Bai accept my setting? He thought to himself, in this way, the star dust magic tool that encourages me to internalize will be useless. The two stardust magical tools thrown into the air attracted the attention of the surrounding students. A small spatial crack silently opened on the trajectory of the falling pendant, swallowing the first one and closing it. He opened up a space for himself, and theoretically, this ability is a mid level application but he only tried and found that the development was successful. However, there is not much magic energy left in his starry dust, and the space is not very large. We need to gradually use our spatial capabilities to expand. Bayemo glanced at the stardust magic tool given by the school that fell into his palm. Then he looked up and looked at the girl standing at his desk. 
Zhao Qingying, do you have anything to do with me? At the same time, he briefly recalled the classmate in front of him. He seems to have some impression that he used to be in the same class as himself, as if he was the son of a branch of the Zhao family's conglomerate in the magic city. Zhao Qingying's freckled face bloomed with a smile, and her voice was neutral and quite straightforward. Bayamo, I see you have two stardust magic tools. The effects of stardust magic tools cannot be stacked. Can you give me the share allocated by the school? I am willing to contribute one million. The school gave by Mo's Stardust Magic Tool a usage time of exactly two months, and he can also rent Stardust Magic Tools with money outside, with a monthly rent of around 300,000 yuan. This is an official regulation. Just because of the large number of beginner mages, there is a great demand for Stardust Magic Tools. Even in resource-rich magic cities, it is not necessarily possible to rent them with money. Okay. Anyway, he couldn't use it, so Bayamo agreed directly and threw the pendant in his hand at the other party. Take it. Thank you. Zhao Qingying's eyes lit up, she caught the pendant, took out a card from her pocket, and handed it to Bayamo. This is one million, the password is written on the back. Then, she left without looking back. Taking a glance at the card, Bayamo threw it into the storage space he had opened up. After thinking for a moment, he realized that he had over 10 million yuan in savings, which made him happy. Perhaps extreme joy brings sorrow. On the road next to the Riverside Park in Qingyuan District, Bayamo, who was cycling home after school, suddenly heard several screams. He slowed down the car and turned his head to look at the place where the scream came from. A toad, the size of a grinding wheel, with a bird's head and yellow feces all over its body, with countless pus bumps, darted out of nowhere. Based on his usual knowledge, Bayemo quickly recognized the identity of this thing. It is one of the servant-level demon beasts unique to the demon capital region, the sparrow-headed yellow toad it seems that it is running away, flying several pedestrians, kicking its legs and continuing to collide with Bayemo without bias. So the passers-by who had already run almost as fast on his side suddenly ran faster, and even kind-hearted people shouted. Young man, run quickly. Run. Bayamo has no plans for this. He is a wizard, and when facing demons, how can he run like an ordinary person? But the first time I saw this yellow toad with a sparrow head, it was indeed as disgusting as what was shown in the book. Therefore, Bayamo didn't want him to get closer. Glancing at the few small black spots quickly approaching behind the flying yellow toad with a bird's head. A hint of clarity flashed in by Mo's eyes, and he let out a clear drink. Look at my, the Huang Pai Yun Palm dot. I saw him driving non dot stop, waving his arm and slapping the demon that was rushing towards him five meters away. A silver star track accompanied his arm as he swung, crossing a brilliant star arc. The air twisted slightly, with only one explosion. Pop. As if colliding head dot on with the crashing waves, the soaring bird-headed yellow toad was directly knocked away by the spatial power carried by white ink. Goo goo watching the demons shouting and flying backwards, they were dealt with by the urban demon hunting team that had rushed up. By Mo's face remained expressionless, with a master's demeanor, and he secretly said in his heart. It seems that the second level mind control dispelling effect is good. When space magic is activated, there is very little movement and no obvious characteristics. So those few people seem to have not realized that it was Bayamo who helped them. Just staring at the suddenly limping demon on the ground discussing something. Bayamo didn't have the idea of rushing to show off, so he kicked his foot and continued to ride towards home. Only under the pavilion at the roadside station, two young girls were lost in thought as they watched his departing figure. One of the girls with a broad mind pulled a girl next to her with a dusty appearance and said. That handsome guy is quite impressive. The Huang Pai Yun Zhang, he's really handsome. Unfortunately, he didn't see his whole face, what do you think, delicate? Tutu, you don't know what he just used. The hurting slave Jiao rolled her eyes, 
and she was a little speechless about this flower crazy sisters. She didn't believe it, but Arto couldn't tell what magic the boy was using just now. At least his brother is also a space mage. I know, the Wang Paiyun Palm, I want to tell my brother. Naivety. Hee <laughs> hee, Shepherd Nujio ignored her giggling sisters and asked seriously. Tutu, from what you see, how was that boy's mind control just now? Looking at the serious expression on Mu Nu Jiao's face, Ada too put it away and jumped off a bit, tilting his head for a moment. It seems to be using Nian Kong Tui San, much more handsome than my brother's. Picture, the shepherd slave said coquettishly. Okay, okay, well. To be able to flap the yellow toad with a bird's head, at least it requires a second-level spiritual realm. After finishing speaking, Ada blinked his eyes and said, Jiao Jiao, that's all I know. Look at him wearing the uniform of Zhilan Magic High School, why not? End of this chapter. Chapter 6 Turns out to be this big one, seeking recommendation. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 6 Turns out to be this big one, seeking recommendation, by Mo didn't know what the two girls were thinking about, but he was recalling the brief few seconds of battle just now. Out of wanting to test his own qualities, he admitted that he was careless this was the first time he felt that death was so close to him and he was also grateful that he practiced magic release every day. Don't be fooled by his sudden shooting of the demon away just now, but when he finished his magic drawing, the yellow toad with a bird's head had already jumped less than ten meters in front of him, and he could even smell the foul smell on the demon's body. At the speed of a servant-level demon, such a short distance is not much different from facing each other. If his magical depiction slows down by a blink of an eye, it's not necessarily who flies out. Moreover, this was still when the sparrow-headed yellow toad was being chased by the city demon hunting team and clearly consumed. If we were to replace it with a fully-fledged demon or one day, like a passerby just now, I would take a leisurely walk and suddenly emerge with a demon that I couldn't handle thinking of that scene, by Mo shuddered. Indeed, becoming a mage and practicing diligently is the right path, otherwise even one's own life and health may not be guaranteed. Thanks to his daily practice of meditation and magic, he deeply felt the importance of cultivation and stopped the car. On the roadside, there happened to be a mage cultivation resource supermarket. Bayemo went in and spent 1 million yuan to buy a space magic crystal that was the size of two thumbs. He used up what was given at home. Determined to take advantage of this summer vacation to make up for missed classes. Give back the energy wasted on eating, drinking, and playing in the past to your dear space system. Strive to start school in the second year of high school and advance to the third level of the space department. This is definitely not internal competition, but a reasonable exploration of one's unparalleled talent, in order to better enjoy life in the future. After all, his central idea of meditating for seven hours a day has not wavered, but sometimes it goes a bit beyond it. He is also very distressed that he has been too persistent. Nowadays, a basic policy of rational use of resources to unleash talents has been added in a timely manner. This is very reasonable. Back home, no accidents. The house was pitch black. The white family owner should still drink tea in his exclusive study, and Ms. Zhuang should play mahjong at her sister's house. Baemo made a fish-flavored shredded meat by himself, filled his stomach, and returned to his room. He took out the stardust magic tool given by his family and thought for a moment. We need to find an opportunity to let the head of the white family, who has a divine dragon, know that his genius son is already a beginner level too. This cannot represent. The spirit level star dust magic tool has been rotating all along, and he doesn't want it or come, but it's better to make sure that the money he spent on buying the space magic crystal can be reimbursed. Then he took out the newly purchased space magic crystal from the space and immersed himself in the spiritual world, looking at the silver stardust that was twice as big as before. Start meditating. Since the first time meditation was able to clearly perceive the growth of one's cultivation, Bayemo knew that his cultivation speed was much faster than his peers. 
After all, ordinary mages cannot feel the change in their cultivation through meditation. Only through long-term persistence can they see an increase in cultivation. Therefore, the monk's meditation is given the name of dryness. And every time I meditate, I can perceive the growth of my cultivation. Just like everyone is a bucket, every time they meditate, they pour a drop of water into the bucket. I can't feel the change in water level inside the bucket at all, I only know that I added water to it. As long as you persist, you can definitely fill it up. However, the waiting process is enough to erase most people's initial expectations. And pouring a glass of water into the bucket can be felt by oneself. And now there are also stardust magic tools that accelerate cultivation, although they can only increase by 10%, they have also bought space magic crystals. It's like changing a bigger water cup for him. Therefore, the feeling of by Mo's own magical power growing is even more apparent. This obvious pleasure persisted until the second space magic crystal in his hand was depleted. Feeling that the stardust had doubled again, Baimo threw away the shattered magic crystal in his hand and nodded in satisfaction. Speaking of which, this space magic crystal is really the only space-type cultivation resource he can afford. It is also relatively easy for families to obtain. Because the magic crystal may increase the speed of cultivation, the effect is not very effective for mages above the beginner level. Most wizards with awakening space magic are likely to be of advanced or super level, and they can quickly meditate without much need for it. This makes the price of space magic crystals relatively affordable, and the channels for obtaining them are also widespread. School starts tomorrow, and his goal set before the holiday to reach the third level of junior high school by the beginning of his sophomore year has been perfectly achieved. Bayamo is quite satisfied with this. The next day, looking down at the new students from the balcony on the third floor of the teaching building, Bayamo felt an indescribable feeling in his heart. It's like lamenting the passage of time, and it's like reminiscing about the past. There's so much more, even he can't figure it out for himself. In short, looking at the neatly arranged rows of new students on the playground, Bayamo sighed and said, It's really great. Finally, there's no need to do radio gymnastics. Because the first year of high school is when most students have just mastered magic, the school has not stopped broadcasting gymnastics programs for nine that year compulsory education in order to prevent students from practicing too quietly. Intended to maintain the vitality of students and conduct practical courses in the best posture in the future. In by Mo's view, this reason is quite absurd. He looks forward to seeing others suffer the same sins he has suffered before. And next to Bai Mo, they leaned against the railing and blew the wind together, watching Zhou Tianyuan, their desk mate who had awakened the freshman downstairs, also sighing. Yeah, the leisurely clouds and shadows of the pond are leisurely, and the sky is changing. How many degrees of autumn are they? Dot. Coming again, Bai Mo was speechless. He looked up at his desk mate. This is the only boy in the school who has long hair, and he is also somewhat neutral with soft facial lines. In addition, the skeleton is not large, the body is thin, and wearing modern clothes that have been improved from traditional ancient clothing, exuding a literary temperament of a small family jade from top to bottom. If you don't take it seriously, you really can't distinguish between men and women. And the reason why this person dresses up like this is because they love traditional ancient poetry. Even by M.O., who is lying flat among the children of a noble family, feels strange. However, this person is normal in all other aspects except for occasionally tugging at two ancient poetry lines that he reads from the book. Look. It's a plant system. The exclamation from several classmates on the left who were also watching the excitement caught his attention. Bayemo turned his head, is white magic so common now? He raised his eyebrows and looked in the direction of the classmate's finger. On the far right side of the playground, near the teaching building, is the front of the square formation of class 18 in senior high school. A girl stood, unable to see her face due to angle reasons, but the green light on the awakening stone, full of vitality, could be seen clearly. It's really from the botanical department. 
Baimo squinted his eyes, but it didn't look very bright, indicating that this student's talent was average. I'll wipe it. Wow. It's so big, the low cries of the boys on the other side reached by Mo's ears, and Baimo calmly glanced at them before seeing their screams and whispers. More boys ran over to take a look, including a few girls. They should be looking at the mage from the awakening plant department. Just by M.O. was a little curious. What did they see, so amazed, what's so big? By M.O., do you know what they're calling? Zhou Tianyuan had long been attracted by the commotion over there, only feeling that it was not in line with his literary style to approach him so closely. So he watched quietly, but as the people gathered more and more over there, he couldn't help but ask curiously. How do I know? Baimo stared at the girl below, curious about what was so wonderful. Until the person in sight turned around and looked at the pair of bulging bags under the white Pikachu T. shirt, swaying and swaying. He suddenly realized. So it's so big. This iconic I. Catching figure, coupled with the botanical lineage, reminds him of a person from the original work. But out of caution, Baimo decided to observe carefully again. M, I didn't see it, take a closer look. Baimo, how did you see them coming? Baimo, what are you looking at? Zhou Tianyuan's voice came to a sudden halt, followed by a cold breath, and then two awkward coughs and a few mosquito-like words, don't look at me unless I'm polite, don't look at me if I'm not polite. After the suspicious figure merged into the crowd and couldn't see the whole picture clearly, Baimo withdrew his gaze and quickly pulled Zhou Tianyuan to a smaller position before the crowd gathered around him. He was quite certain, and that was at to, because he saw the next awakened person. He still knows the pastoral slave Jiao of the pastoral family. This world is really small, end of this chapter. Chapter 7 Jing'an Stone Temple recommended. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 7 Jing'an Stone Temple, recommended, in the afternoon, there will be a class meeting. Classroom teacher Su Ning stepped into the classroom as scheduled and glanced at the students who were still somewhat agitated. She coughed twice, starting with an ordinary opening speech for the new semester. Then we came to the main topic. Classmates, in two months' time, the school will organize all high school sophomore students to conduct field combat evaluations. Everyone should be prepared. It's enough to have fun during the two months vacation, so rest assured. After Su Ning finished speaking, the classroom quieted down for a few seconds. She didn't wait for the classroom to stir fry, but continued. Don't be discouraged or panicked. Students who perform well have the opportunity to enter the Jing'an Stone Temple to listen to scriptures. After saying these things, she sat down and her classmates knew she had finished speaking. As the chatter of words sounded, the whole classroom gradually began to rumble. It's just about the field practical evaluation that class teacher Su Ning just mentioned. Although the name may seem advanced, it's actually a wilderness experience. Of course, the intensity is definitely not comparable to formal outdoor training. Someone asked, Hey, do you know where wilderness training goes? Last year, I went near the seawall. The year before last, I was in a military town in the Taihu Lake Lake area. There are too many demons around the Devil City. They may not be in the same place. The class monitor answered his doubts. But definitely not within the city. I just learned how to release magic. Where can I face demons in the wild? Can't I just go? Zhao Qingying glanced at the person and shook her head. The results of this evaluation will be used as a reference for enrollment by major universities. Moreover, there have been no accidents or injuries in the past few years. Oh. It seems we need to intensify our magic practice when we go back. I'm the only one who doesn't know what Jing'an Stone Temple is for. Suning's ears moved and her hand stopped sliding on the phone screen. The sound drowned out the noise in the entire classroom. Cough cough, I forgot to mention earlier. 
Jingyan Stone Temple is a Buddhist temple with a long history and mysterious chanting sounds surrounding it. Listening to it can increase the speed of cultivation. One day of cultivation inside is equivalent to seven days outside, speaking, Suning paused for a moment, glanced at Bai Mo's side, and continued. It is rumored that the Buddha's sound in Jingyan Stone Temple has a magical effect on enhancing spiritual power, and there is even a chance to break through the spiritual realm. Students should seize this opportunity so, the atmosphere in the classroom became even more lively. Zhou Tianyuan turned his head to look at his desk mate, who was calm and indifferent, and asked. Bayamo, what do you think? I'll give you an S.level rating this time, Bayamo said in a plain tone. Zhou Tianyuan next to him gave a thumbs up, indicating that you can still pretend. But the old class's words reminded me that we haven't had the experience to face demons yet. Bayamo remembered the chance encounter with a demon two months ago, turned his head, and looked at Zhou Tianyuan with a puzzled expression as he continued. I plan to go to the demon fighting hall to familiarize myself. Do you want to come together? You don't need to fight like this, do you? Zhou Tianyuan's face turned bitter upon hearing this. Of course, he knew where the demon fighting hall was. The Sodot called Demon Fighting Pavilion is specifically designed to provide combat services against demons. Specially provide a place for mages to transition from the city to the wilderness. The demons in the Demon Fighting Hall are mostly domesticated servant-level demons, and each battle is guarded by mid-level mages. Therefore, annual fees are not cheap. And absolutely ensuring customer safety is different from those underground arenas that violate laws and regulations, using blood to please some psychologically distorted wealthy people. Why not use it? With this resource, we need to make use of it. Bayamo raised his eyebrows and patted Zhou Tianyuan's shoulder next to him. Tianyuan, don't you want to be scared and wet your pants when suddenly encountering demons during outdoor training? I don't want to, I'll go with you. Zhou Tianyuan nodded seriously, as if to boost himself. He slowly read. Who knows not to suffer from the side court? Even if I die, I still smell the fragrance of chivalry. Isn't it just fighting a demon? I'm not afraid. Bayamo has become accustomed to his intermittent recitation of poetry, and he doesn't always feel embarrassed. Noticing that the female classmate behind him looked at them both strangely, he calmly lowered his hand from Zhou Tianyuan's shoulder and instructed. As long as you have no problem, then you just need to defend me and you, and I will attack. Upon hearing this, Zhou Tianyuan was taken aback and looked at him with a surprised expression, asking, Are we two going together? Bayamo looked at him strangely and said in a faint tone, Is it possible that you want to fight alone? No, no, no. It would be great for two people to play together. At this moment, the bell rang, indicating the complete end of today's course. Let's go. Bayamo stood up and walked straight outside. Wait for me. Little did they know that when the second person came down from the teaching building, they were blocked by two girls. Without caring about Zhou Tianyuan, who couldn't see with one eye, Bayamo stared at the two beautiful girls in front of him without straying his gaze. A person is about 1.6 meters tall, with a broad chest, delicate and delicate facial features, agile eyes, and a slightly youthful demeanor. A person with a dusty appearance, fair and translucent skin like jade, a naturally straight nose like a mountain, bright and clear eyes like water, thin lips not spotted but red, and dark eyebrows not painted but green. A to Tuesday Munugio. Hey, do you know me? You're famous at school, Bayamo said in a plain tone, indicating that it's not something worth noting. What's up with me? Upon hearing him ask this, Ada's eyebrows flew up and he let go of his arm that was wrapped around Munugio. He took two steps forward and looked at Bayamo with bright eyes. Shuaigua, I heard you are also from the space department. Let's add a facine and get to know each other. Let's discuss magic cultivation together. Sure. Bayamo nodded, not caring about what medicine was sold in the AI2 gourd. 
Hey, didn't they say you were very cold and aloof? Ada too unexpectedly took out his phone. Because they don't deserve my attention, Bayemo said with a natural expression as he looked at the two of them. Drip. Drip. The sound of two code scans rang out cleanly, and Bayemo looked at Munujio, who was holding her phone silently next to her in surprise. Coincidentally, Munujio was also looking at him at this moment. Seeing him looking at him, she smiled and said leisurely. I didn't expect you to be by Mo. I've heard of you for a long time, and you can have some sparring in the future. Sure, I hope that time arrives soon. By Mo smiled and asked, does this woman now have the attribute of being as aggressive as a demon? After speaking, he passed the application of the two and showed them the approval interface, then headed out of school without looking back. It seems quite dragging. Attu looked at his departing figure and said to the person next to him. White ink, good fortune is not shallow. Inside the subway station, Zhou Tianyuan joked at Baimo. Baimo pondered for two seconds, nodded, and earnestly agreed. Indeed, as the world's most handsome, I am also very troubled. M. Zhou Tianyuan choked for a moment and then smiled, hey, I didn't expect you to be quite good at joking. What? Seeing the question mark emitted by Bayamo, he shook the non-dot-existent feather fan and said with a reserved tone. I admit that Bayamo's appearance is indeed extraordinary, but compared to me, you still lack a few colors. After speaking, he also supported his long hair at the temples. M. Bayamo was speechless. He didn't know where to start roast, so he simply stopped talking and didn't care about the sand sculpture. Focus on the journey. The demon fighting hall is not allowed to be opened arbitrarily due to the presence of demons. In addition to requiring various documents, there are also restrictions on the location of the establishment. Generally, it can only be opened in the mage business district or mage entertainment district that provide services for mages. Although there are also ordinary people in these areas, there are more mages. Once an accident occurs, it will not cause large dot scale casualties or riots. Baimo and his team are going to a demon fighting gym under the Mingzhu Mage Tower, which is the best demon fighting gym in the Magic City. There are a variety of demons and demons, and the security guarantee is also the most comprehensive. The most important thing is that the demon fighting hall was jointly established by the four major families of the demon capital. Past members like Baimo and Zhou Tianyuan without membership cards. You can brush your face, but you don't have to pay. End of this chapter. Chapter 8 Because I am honest. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 8 Because I am honest Wang Yang is the manager of the Four Directions Demon Fighting Hall. He doesn't have any other skills, but he has a good memory. So when Baimo and Zhou Tianyuan, the legitimate descendants of these two demons with names and surnames, came in. He immediately recognized it and hurriedly ran up to ask, are the two young masters here to fight demons? I will arrange the strongest security officer for you. Baimo didn't say anything, nodded as a greeting, glanced at his chest, and then went straight to his destination. We have just learned magic and will be going to the wilderness in a while. Come here and adapt in advance. Manager Wang can arrange for an ordinary demon. All right. I'll have someone take you two to the arena first, Wang Yang said with a smile to Bai Mo and the others, then turned his head to invite an ordinary receptionist. You take the two young masters to Arena 102. Okay, the beautiful receptionist in uniform smiled at Bai Mo and his companions. Please come with me, both of you. The arena is built underground and has a considerable area, at least as large as their school playground. The ground is made of special magic stones, which are exceptionally hard. Branding the disposable protective magic tools issued by the demon fighting hall, the two of them waited quietly. Not long after, a middle dot aged mage with a heavy breath walked in. As soon as he entered, he skillfully introduced himself to Bai Mo and the others, saying, my name is Yen Fong, a soil type, 
and a light type intermediate level 3. When are you planning to start? Baemo glanced at Zhou Tianyuan beside him and saw his expression as usual. He handed him a questioning look and nodded, then said. We can start now. At the same time, he curiously scanned the venue, guessing where the demon would appear. Then, at the other end of the arena, a piece of ground slowly sank. When it rose again, a sword pig the size of a sedan lay on the ground. It seems that I haven't woken up yet. At the same time, the voice of security officer Yen Fong also sounded around them. This is a sword pig, a demon with relatively average attributes in all aspects. It will wake up in three minutes, you adjust your state. After speaking, he moved a few times and hid in an inconspicuous corner. Take advantage of the moment, give us a layer of water protection. Baemo clenched his fist and took a deep breath to ease his mood. He realized that he was looking forward to the upcoming battle. Zhou Tianyuan is a water mage with good talent. In just five seconds, a deep blue star track shone beside him. Shui Yu. Jia Hua. With the release of magic, the air suddenly became slightly moist, and Baemo saw a thin, semi-transparent blue water flow condensed like a ribbon, covering Zhou Tianyuan's entire body. Successfully releasing a magic seemed to alleviate some of Zhou Tianyuan's inner tension. White Ink had a clear feeling, and in just four seconds this time, Zhou Tianyuan once again emitted a water aura, enveloping him with a glistening ribbon of water. Sure, Lao Zhou, your casting speed has improved again. That's it, I still can't compare to you. That's it. You are really welcome. Zhou Tianyuan murmured in silence. Baemo didn't care and shook his hand. Because I am honest, unlike some people who seem to be happy in their hearts but pretend not to care on the surface. Dot. Zhou Tianyuan felt that the battle had not yet begun and he had already been injured. As he spoke, the sword pig had already woken up, and an invisible momentum condensed as it stood up. Making them no longer have the silly appearance of ordinary pigs, this made the already nervous two even more nervous. The sword pig finished pretending to sleep, and its sharp fangs, shining with cold light, aimed at the two humans opposite and rushed over. During the run, heavy footsteps lifted waves of dust on the ground. Bloody and savage ferocity rushed towards us. Faced with Pang Ran's fierce aura, sweat welled up on Zhou Tianyuan's forehead beside him, as he overcame his fear of the demonic aura. In his hands, the condensed starlight also kept shaking, like a water surface about to shatter. However, Baemo quickly adapted to the fierce aura of this demon. Mind Control A distance of 100 meters is not much for a servant-level demon. Not to mention the spatial mage Baemo. Virtual Claw the magic that had been prepared for a long time was released as he moved and thought, and a silver light suddenly appeared. The power of space, under the control of Baemo, is like an invisible giant claw. Easily and accurately catch the galloping sword pig. Suddenly restrained, the sword pig's originally swift body paused. Oh, it's blocked. Zhou Tianyuan adapted to the fierce aura of the demon and was pleasantly surprised by this scene. In that space, the air twisted and swayed. The enormous impact brought by the heavy physique of the sword pig made by M.O. feel a burst of pressure, but compared to the surging thoughts, these pressures were not significant. The light of space flickered, and the hand of the virtual claw swung heavily, throwing the sword pig over ten meters and crashing to the ground. Hey, you're using too little force. Baemo was slightly surprised when he saw that Jianzhu didn't hit the wall as he had hoped. It's not a big deal, just practice more. And amidst the dust, the sword pig had already climbed up. The sword pig arched its body, highlighting the sword spikes on its back even more ferocious. These sword spikes were like arrows, detached from its back and shooting towards them. Zhou Tianyuan's face was panicked. Although he knew he would be fine, Facing the sharp cold light and sword spikes like pouring rain on his face still made his scalp tingle. It seems that in the next moment, I will be pierced by ten thousand arrows. 
What are you panicking about? Just prepare for the water and be prepared for unexpected situations. Baimo said, staring at the eyes of those sword spikes with a silver glow, a silver star arc had already flashed. Mind control. Retreat scattering. He waved his hand forward, as if driving away flies, as the overlapping spatial forces swept towards the sword spikes that were about to be nailed to them. Poo 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 dot. Zhou Tianyuan watched helplessly as the sword rain, which had originally looked imposing, seemed to have encountered an unstoppable strong wind and torrent, being washed away. Not a single one came to them. I'll go. Handsome. Zhou Tianyuan exclaimed in surprise, was that the Enian star orbit just now? Not yet, about a second. There is also a standard for judging the orbit of Enian, but he hasn't arrived yet. A smile appeared at the corner of Bai Mo's mouth, and his gaze never left the sword pig that had already run again while he was dealing with the sword rain. The distance between the two sides is already less than 50 meters. A silver light flashed across again. With a clap of his hand, he interrupted the rapid running of the sword pig and rolled backwards obliquely. Ha dot. A panicked cry emanated from its mouth. Blocking his attack, Bayamo gathered all his energy and shook the direction of sword pigs rolling with force. I saw Jianzhu's body stiffen, motionless, and slowly suspend. Then, controlled by an invisible force, it flew towards the walls of the arena at a faster and faster speed, just as it was about to collide with the walls of the arena. A golden shield appeared out of thin air, replacing the wall to withstand the impact. All right, you guys have won. Yen Feng's figure appeared, and he didn't see what he had done. Sword Pig fainted silently. He came to buy M.O. and the others with a hint of surprise in his eyes. Facing ordinary servant-level demons head on shouldn't be a problem for you. Do you still want to continue? No, there's not much magic left. Bai Mo shook his head, while Zhou Tianyuan beside him was somewhat puzzled. The first time he tasted the pleasure of defeating demons, it left him with a lingering aftertaste, and he said. Why not fight anymore? Magic energy can be restored. There are only over twenty types of demons here, and our purpose is to familiarize ourselves with them and exercise them. However, having too many doesn't work as it's not really a wilderness. Zhou Tianyuan pondered for a moment before nodding. He is willing to follow because he is really afraid of being scared and unable to walk when encountering a demon meeting in the wild. Although he didn't have much effect on the field just now, he was almost intimidated by the demon aura of sword pig and scattered the magic in his hand. However, Baimo remained calm and composed and after a moment of reflection, Zhou Tianyuan understood the reason. Spiritual mages have strong resistance to various types of intimidation. And seeing that Bai Mo can lift such a big sword pig, his spiritual realm must be more than one level. As is well known, if one's mental strength is not strong enough. A space mage is a vegetable chicken. Thinking of this, Zhou Tianyuan asked, Bai Mo, what level of spiritual realm have you reached? Second level. I don't know, I haven't tested it before. Anyway, I haven't reached the middle level. Baimo responded lightly as he walked, and he also went to understand the division of spiritual realm. The spiritual realm is divided into nine levels, with one to three being the minor realm, four to six being the moderate realm, and seven to nine being the great realm. There is not much difference between the second and third realms in the small realm, and without testing, it may not be possible to distinguish them. Zhou Tianyuan pursed his lips when he heard the word Zhongjia and said, Can't I tell that you haven't reached Zhongjia? If you really did, then Jianzhu wouldn't be able to die with just one slap. That's right. Bai Mo shrugged and said leisurely, seeing that he had already arrived at the entrance of the demon fighting hall, I went to watch the music festival. You can go back alone. After speaking, he waved his hand to himself and headed straight in one direction. Zhou Tianyuan glanced at the time and shook his head, saying, this guy really doesn't take his business seriously like rumors do. It's almost seven o'clock, 
don't you need to practice? After muttering a few words, he stopped a car and disappeared into the dusk. Seeking Collection Recommendations, End of this Chapter Chapter 9 Middle of Nine Peaks You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 9 Middle of Nine Peaks After experiencing the music festival, by M.O. did not discuss the project with anyone. I rejected several beautiful sisters again, and when I returned home, it was already 9 p.m. Fortunately, I spent four less important classes on meditation at school today. Half of the daily meditation task is left, and four more hours of meditation at night is enough. Entering the living room, Mr. Bai sat on the sofa looking at the tablet, and the light from the screen shone on his face, a bright green. The door to the mahjong room upstairs was open, and a gurgling sound trickled down from above. You're back. There's still some leftover food in the kitchen. When the head of the Bai family heard the commotion, he didn't move his eyes and said lightly. I've had it. Baimo replied, not commenting on the Bai family's passion for being a philanthropist, and walked into the room. Daily meditation cannot be forgotten. Today there is rain, and the cool water vapor mixed with the wind adds more autumn to the magic city of November. But the second-year classroom of Zhilan Magic High School is even more restless than in summer. Why hasn't the old class come yet? Didn't they say they're going to the wilderness for training today? The impatient student asked aimlessly. The class group said it's only 10.50 in the afternoon, it's still early. Baimo looked at the rain outside the window, his pen unconsciously flipping between his fingers. If he looked closely, he would find that the pen was not even touching his finger. But his thoughts were not focused on the topics discussed by his classmates. In two months, there was no substantial breakthrough in his magical cultivation. I only learned two small techniques for cultivating spiritual power. I have become quite familiar with the two girls, Ada Munugio, and Baemo occasionally plays poker with them in a room. On the Lado Landlord. Unfortunately, these two girls are still focused on the inner competition of magic, and handsome guys cannot attract them much interest, nor do they have time every time they are invited. In addition to these games, there is also Faced with demons, he no longer feels nervous and can ensure absolute peace of mind. Zhou Tianyuan, on the other hand, has a really good talent. It is also possible that the demon's actual combat has put pressure on him, after requesting some advanced resources from his family. The water system has also reached the second level of the initial stage. After all, the combination of combat and meditation is the best partner for improving cultivation. Classmates, our destination this time is Jufengshan Zhongzhong Town. After arriving, the content of this evaluation will be arranged by the local military officer for half a month. There will be a car coming in ten minutes. Let's go downstairs together now. At 1.40 p.m., the homeroom teacher Su Ning stood on the classroom podium and explained the content of the documents distributed in the class group yesterday to the whole class again. On the bus, Baemo casually chose a seat to sit down, while Zhou Tianyuan sat next to him. Causing dissatisfaction and excitement from several girls. There's no way, even if he goes to the wilderness, Zhou Tianyuan has no plans to cut his hair. His long hair with a shawl over his back, coupled with his somewhat gentle and beautiful appearance. Anyway, at first glance, it doesn't look like a man. At the front of the carriage stood two people, a man and a woman, with dark skin and a capable and dignified demeanor, all dressed in the clothing of a military mage. Through their introduction, Baemo learned that the man's name is Yen Fei and the woman's name is He Yun. Jilfeng Mountain is located to the west of Modu and is a prominent area on the Modu Plain, but the average elevation is still less than 100 meters. For the demon capital, which has access to both land and water, this cannot be considered a natural danger. The reason why a military town is established here is because the wind and soil resources on Jiufeng Mountain are abundant. This attracted a large number of demons, among which the Jiufeng Raccoon tribe, which already inhabits this area, was the most powerful. That's why there was a middle town. 
These pieces of information were learned by Bai Mo from a conversation between his classmates and the military mage named Yen Fei. During the communication, the students also became less reserved when they first met the military mage. A boy with a flat head asked, Brother Yen, why do you call it Zhongzhong Town? There is a gap in the middle of Jiufeng, which is an important road connecting the east and west of the mountain range. The military town is located here, so it is called Zhongzhong Town. Dot. How long until we arrive? It's almost there. Yen Fei was a sincere person, and it wasn't long before the bus entered a town. Stop in front of a huge city gate. Everyone got off the car. It can be seen that there has just been a rain here, the ground is moist, and the air still retains fresh moisture. The city gate in front of me is towering, connecting the mountain walls on both sides. After the rain, the sky was clear and covered with half an acre of hazy yellow. The distant mountains were clear and clear, with a faint white mist lingering around. Bayamo went out for the first time and felt very good. Looking at this mountain view after rain, although he knew there were many dangers inside, he couldn't help but recite. After the new rain in the empty mountains, the weather arrives late in autumn. Zhou Tianyuan, who was following him and looking around, was shocked and then lost in thought. Enter the town through the city gates. The town is not completely militarized, and there are professional shops on the streets, ranging from daily necessities to leisure and entertainment, and even to mage department stores. There are also amateur vendors who seem to be wizards who come here to hunt demons, and the things they sell are very messy. Most of them are obtained from Jiufeng Mountain. At the center of the town, there is a square that appears empty even though all the sophomore students who come to experience here gather. They are waiting here, waiting for the chief of this military town to come and make arrangements for them. Is this the middle town? It doesn't look special either. Hey, Ching Ching, let me tell you, there's a military mage little brother over there who looks so handsome. I'll go, why do those vendors look so social? I just glanced at him and he asked me, what are you looking at? I'm so scared to speak. His classmate next to him looked at him and said in silence, they saw that you had been looking there for a while and asked what you wanted to buy. Is that so? Bayemo listened to his classmates' noise haphazardly, and noticed that the class teachers were all gathered in one place. Beside them, a group of military mages walked with steps down a street, led by a woman. Her face was cold and stern, and her temperament was majestic, which made people subconsciously overlook her petite figure. The woman led the team to stand in the center of the square, looking at the noisy square. She frowned and gently uttered a word. Quiet. Baimo felt a special wave of thoughts sweeping past, and felt the entire square calm down. Some of the classmates around them were still talking, but they quickly realized that they couldn't hear what the other person was saying or what they were saying. This is phonetic magic. At least it's advanced. Baimo took a panoramic view of their situation, and Zhou Tianyuan next to him patted his shoulder, looking frightened. Baemo glanced at him and turned his gaze to the female officer who caused all of this. But she saw the ground slowly rise under her feet, supporting her to form a three-meter high platform. All the students on the field stopped their commotion and shifted their attention to themselves. A satisfied smile appeared on her cold and stern face. From now on, you can speak now. The voice of the female officer was clearly heard by everyone but no one had any intention of speaking. Just as she continued, My name is Gu Changying, the highest commander of this military town and also the chief instructor of your training this time. You can call me Instructor Gu. After a pause, Gu Changying continued. I know you are all students, but the University Alliance has temporarily handed you over here, so from now on, you only have one identity, military mage. Gu Changying scanned the green faces below with a faint gaze, but she had an invisible aura. She said word by word. Military mages are never easy. If you don't have enough abilities, you can't become military mages. You can only become apprentices. And your task this time is to join the patrol mage teams in the middle town, 
complete daily patrol tasks, and cancel the title of apprentice. When everyone had just breathed a sigh of relief and felt that the task was quite easy. Gu Changying's voice continued to ring. I will require you to patrol the mountains, eliminate demons, and follow orders according to the standards of a normal patrol army mage. Your main tasks are to patrol the mountains, eliminate demons, and follow orders. You have three days to adapt, and for the twelve days after three days, if you can meet the standards every day, it is S, otherwise, it is F. Eliminating Demons A young teacher frowned, while the teacher next to him shook his head and said with relief, Don't worry, I brought my students here five years ago and they didn't face any danger to their lives. That would also hurt, right? I take the instructor very seriously and this assessment method is too strict. Hi, Teacher Su, these words are all meant for students to listen to. Instructor Gu is busy with affairs, so how could he have the heart to manage these things? The evaluation of grade still requires the observation and participation of us teachers. Teacher Tian, what do you mean? On the square. Upon hearing Gu Changing's perverted assessment standards, the students on the square were also in a frenzy, and some of them angrily protested. The hunting mages outside the square were whistling and making sarcastic remarks. Gu Changing glanced at the protesting students, and his cold voice exploded. Here, I'm the boss. Cowards don't deserve to stay here. If you want to leave, you can find your head teacher to get an F grade paper now, and go back to school tomorrow. Suddenly, everyone on the stage was silent and hesitant. At a passionate age, no one wants to be looked down upon. Although there are people who want to back down, they would not make this choice in public at such times. The first lesson of becoming a wizard is to stand in front of ordinary people. Faced with demons, anyone can leave, mages cannot leave. The wilderness experience is to make them face demons directly, if they leave at this time. Although I have received an evaluation, I actually have the opportunity to attend a magic university with an F. level evaluation. But in fact, his magical career had also come to an end at this time. Officials and the public do not allow a mage who only enjoys benefits and does not fulfill their responsibilities to continue on the path of magic. Of course, if you only escape in private, no one will hold you accountable. After all, who knows? Baimo rubbed his ears and made up his mind that he would not seek help from Master Ian in future arguments. At the same time, I remembered that my homeroom teacher Su Ning could easily suppress the voices of the whole class every time, and I also understood what his second department was. Gu Changying expressed her attitude and said leisurely, You will be assigned to that team. Your homeroom teacher will notify you later. That's all I have to say. I hope you can pass the assessment. After speaking, the earthen platform under her feet slowly sank to the ground, then turned around and left. The place remained smooth as before, as if the previous changes had not occurred. Seeking recommendation, end of this chapter. Chapter 10 Lighter for the first time, for collection. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 10 Lighter for the first time, for collection, after Gu Changing left, the square did not remain quiet for long before it became restless. Suning and several military mages arrived at the front of the squadron of class 1 in the second year of high school and began to explain the arrangements of each person in the class. Li Gui, Kai Kuan, Zhang Shui, you are in Team 2 Peaks and 5, follow Captain Liu. As she spoke, she gestured with her finger and followed a military mage next to her. Then he continued, Su Yang, Fang Ping, Shi Yu, Yu. The silent classmates listened one by one, and by Mo noticed that the old class was read in the order of student numbers, and the allocation was also done in this way. According to this calculation, I should be on the same team as Zhao Qinying and Zhou Tianyuan. Just as I thought of this, I heard Su Ning recite. Zhao Qinying, by M.O., Zhou Tianyuan, three peaks and five teams, follow Captain Chu. 
Upon hearing his arrangement, Baemo glanced at Zhou Tianyuan who was looking back at him, then glanced at Zhao Qinying who greeted him and smiled. The gaze ultimately fell on the second military mage to the left of Suning. A strange look flashed in my eyes. The current appearance of this captain surnamed Chu is somewhat admirable. His face is very white, but there is a bruise on it, and his eyes are bleary with dark circles. Considering the bruises on his face, Baemo guessed that he was beaten. In addition, his hat was also crooked, with one of his military boots tied in military pants and the other woven together, revealing a hairy leg. Standing upright, Baemo vaguely smelled the smell of alcohol as he walked behind Zhao Qinying and Zhou Tianyuan. Baemo felt that this person was very strange, as if he had just woken up from a hangover. But is drinking allowed in the military? He exchanged a glance with the other six classmates who were already standing here, and then looked at his two teammates. Everyone had some doubts in their eyes, but ultimately no one said anything. Soon Su Ning finished reading, and then the forty members of the first class were led away by the captains of six different peaks. Baemo and the others followed Captain Chu in silence all the way. Among the nine people following, several of them looked hesitantly at Captain Chu. A hesitant look as if wanting to ask something. Baemo was looking around and they entered another street connecting the square. There are no vendors or hunters on this street, and a team of military mages occasionally pass by. On both sides of the road are simple stone walls of standard height. A chorus rushed out from inside. Silent all the way, those classmates who wanted to ask something ultimately didn't muster the courage. But Captain Chu spoke first his voice is somewhat elegant, his tone is gentle, and his pronunciation is clear, but it does not match his current poor image. My name is Chu Yunlong, you can call me Lao Chu, Chu team is fine. You heard what Mr. Gu said. If you have any questions now, you can ask me, but you need to call a report before asking. Report Zhao Qinying was the first to speak, her voice resounding. Just by listening to her voice, she seemed more like a military mage. Speak. What are these peaks like? One, two, three, dot. Part of the military mage organization in the middle town. There are nine peaks on Jiufeng Mountain, where demons and demons reside. The three peaks are the ones guarding the third mountain. At this point, Chu Yunlong glanced at the nine students behind him and said, let me give you a brief introduction to the situation of Sanfeng. He pondered organizing the language, and everyone waited in silence for a few seconds before listening to him say. Sanfeng has nine teams, of which the 456th team is responsible for patrolling. You are about to join, and I am the captain of the fifth team. As for the commander of Sanfeng's army, his name is Yang Biao. As long as you know this person, that's enough. Baemo, Zhou Tianyuan, and Zhao Qingying both looked at him, but they didn't expect this person to be their captain. Report, shouted a slightly skinny classmate. You say. Don't we live in the town? Chu Yunlong looked back at him and smiled, saying. The patrol team has a day and night shift, and they are in the town during their rest time, so they usually don't constrain you too much. Upon hearing this, Baemo glanced at the person again. Thinking to himself. He wouldn't just drink while he's resting, and now he's been forced into labor, right? You're right. Chu Yunlong's words left everyone puzzled, but Baemo knew it was to him. Mind system. Baemo thought to himself, but his thoughts were activated, covering up his own spiritual fluctuations. Following behind, Zhou Tianyuan shouted, report. Say. Zhou Tianyuan didn't mention the issues he was concerned about for a long time, so he couldn't help but ask again. What are the daily tasks of our patrol team? What is the discipline in our daily routine? My usual task is to patrol the garrison area of the third mountain, investigate the movements of surrounding demons, and drive out demons who want to go to the city. If I encounter demons head dot on, I will follow the captain's orders. Chu Yunlong's voice continued. By the way, there is only one team patrolling during the day, which can be a bit dangerous at night, 
so there are two teams. The fifth team is on duty tonight. After speaking, he turned around and glanced at the three white ink people behind him. Don't be nervous, the first time we will be a little lighter and won't ask you to do anything, just follow along. As for discipline, for you, the only two requirements are to obey commands and strictly abide by your positions. After speaking, his footsteps stopped. This is the dormitory. Wait here for a moment, I'll call the captain of the sixth team. The captain of the fourth team is still patrolling, and they will come to find you when they come back. Watching Chu Yunlong leave, everyone looked around curiously. This is a second-floor building with many activity equipment and a sports field in the yard, but it looks unused. Several military mages wearing vests gathered in groups of men and women. Watching them appear, pointing and saying something. Not long after, Chu Yunlong and a middle-aged man with a square face walked out with their backs hooked and came to them. Before Chu Yunlong could introduce him, the middle-aged man from Fangjing spoke in his bold voice. My name is Kong Changming, captain of the fourth team. Which of you are from the fourth team? Three classmates raised their hands. Kong Changming nodded at the sight and waved his hand. You three come with me, old Chu. Let's continue tomorrow. Keep going, I'll definitely beat you to death next time. Chu Yunlong shouted fiercely and glanced at the remaining six people. He waved to the military mage walking in the yard. Liozi, your team has three new members. You can take them over and divide the dormitory. The military mage named Liozi slowly walked over, and everyone finally saw the plaster under his pants. Chu team, are you looking for me? They three students, from your team, lead them over to familiarize themselves. Okay. Liozi nodded and remembered that the captain had mentioned this a few days ago. He touched his own inch and looked at the three people instructed by Chu Yunlong with a gentle smile. Follow me. After arranging for the other two teams, Chu Yunlong's gaze fell on by M.O. and the three of them. He said leisurely, we're the only ones left. Let's go. I'll take you to recognize your teammates and your dormitories. Then we'll have to change shifts. Baemo and his three companions followed him to a lounge, where there were five people, four men and one woman. Chu Team X5, this is the newcomer this time, you are familiar with it. Three students and five military mages exchanged passionate glances for two seconds, and the female military mage slowly stood up. Her eyes were brown, and besides the solemn and composed demeanor of a military mage, there was also a hint of sunshine and gentleness on her body. I am Zhong Ling, fire mage, beginner. After her, a burly young man also stood up and said in a muffled voice, Jiang Cheng, of the two clique, of the early stage. After listening to their introduction, Bai Mo had a general understanding in his heart. Among the five, only Zhong Ling, who spoke first, was the destroyer mage. The four male military styles are earth, wind, shadow, and light. After they finished introducing him, Chu Yunlong patted his head and said indifferently, Look at my memory, I almost forgot about myself. I am a spiritual mage, intermediate level, and minor in water. Middle level mage. The three of Bai Mo were slightly surprised. But as soon as I thought this was the capital of demons, it made sense. Seeing them all looking at themselves, three. Bayamo stood up first and learned from the way they had just spoken, saying, Bayamo, spatial system, beginner. Upon hearing about the spatial system, Chu Yunlong and his six companions were all amazed, as the first level awakened spatial system was very rare. But the introduction is still ongoing. Zhou Tianyuan, water system, elementary stage. Zhao Qingying, wind style, early stage. Chu Yunlong looked at Zhao Qingying and Zhou Tianyuan's backpacks and said to Zhongling, Zhongling, take Zhao Qingying to the dormitory and put things on. You two come with me. He pointed to Bai and Mo. The two of them followed as promised and, under his guidance, went to a dormitory. 
There are three people inside who have changed into military mage training uniforms, all of whom are their classmates. Two are from the fourth team, and one is from the sixth team. Your students are assigned to a dormitory where the lights will be turned off after 10 p.m. and no loud noise is allowed. Chu Yunlong said. By Mo, Zhou Tianyuan, 15 minutes later, in the lounge just now, I will take you to familiarize yourself with patrol work. Good X2. This is an obvious six-person room, and two people have chosen a bed. After chatting with the other three people indoors, he got up and went to the lounge. The sky outside the window also darkened, and the moon appeared. In the lounge, except for Zhongling and Zhao Qinying, everyone else is present. Here we go. As they approached, Chu Yunlong nodded and stood up, saying, Zhongling and the others are in the car. Let's go. The middle town is located between the four and five peaks, not too far from the three peaks. Zhongling drove with everyone and arrived in twenty minutes. Nausea, after getting off the car, Zhou Tianyuan couldn't help but wretch. Baimo and Zhao Qinying also had a slightly unpleasant expression on their faces. It's just that Zhong Ling's driving style is too passionate and rough, coupled with uneven roads. Ha ha ha, don't hold back if you feel nauseous. Just sit a few more times and get used to it. The tall man Jiang Cheng laughed heartily, and the others also had smiles on their faces and mouths. It's all reminiscent of the first time I had Zhong Ling drive. Baimo didn't accept this guy's advice and took a few deep breaths of the wild air. Feeling uncomfortable, he asked. Do you all drive like this? No, I'm quite impatient, Zhong Ling shook her head. We'll take turns. If you know how to drive, there's also a chance. Shadow Mage Zhang Lan walked up to Bai Mo and patted his shoulder, saying. Bai Mo and the three of them looked up at the convertible pickup truck parked at the campsite and exchanged a glance. Who would be a serious high school student driving this thing? End of this chapter